right y'all at the same welcome back to my channel my name is ac coquit and i have a new video for you today today we are getting into the bet awards and yes i know they happened like two or three weeks ago but we gotta get into some things yes Nicki minaj voice like we gotta get into some things because if you know you know all right <laughs> if you're new to my channel though don't forget to subscribe like this video comment down below and share it as well now let's head into the video so the BET Awards happened the last Sunday in June and it was definitely a lot more talked about than I feel like it has been in a couple of years the BET Awards haven't really been giving much over the past couple of years, but I feel like this one was truly talked about. Overall, I thought the show needed some work. I know that there was the writer's strike that was happening, so a lot of things that probably would have happened before didn't happen this year. Um, and maybe that's why the promo didn't happen until the week of because truly there was no promo for the BT Awards. I was wondering, was it still going to happen? And then that week of maybe like two days before, that's when we started seeing some promo for it because of the writer's strike. So that's not all their fault. And I really truly hope this writer's strike gets resolved and they get paid what they deserve because they truly put on great TV moments, great award shows, great shows, great skits, great everything. And you can definitely see if we need the writers back watching this award show, uh, especially with the award show season coming up. We need the writers back. Come on now. Like, let's figure this out. A lot of people were calling it the Ratchet Awards mostly because it just wasn't giving like when we go to the other award shows basically like if you're going to the american music awards or um the grammys like they're dressed up they're dressed to the nines they are making sure they look good their brand looks good at the bet awards it seemed like some people were just coming anyhow <laughs> you know they weren't caring where they were um they were coming to watch it in their grandma's <laughs> living room basically and then there was a lot of skin that was being shown uh with some of the artists that came i i don't know okay i have mixed feelings about how people were dressed i think i feel like we need comfortable spaces where we can just you know feel at home especially in this entertainment industry you need that comfortable space where you can just like yes go off as how you want in the stands um because i saw glorilla and krishan like they were having a ball basically <laughs> so yes i feel like we need that in i guess how we dress how we act we need those comfortable spaces but we talk so much about the grammys and how they don't give us the awards that we deserve and if we want ah, I hate respectability politics too because it's just like we should still be seen as prestigious or as a, like an important award no matter how we come no matter how we dress no matter how it looks like like it should still be seen as a prestigious award because this is black entertainment we run everything like honestly black entertainment is what drives media today so it should already be seen as that i'm not too like they need to come looking like head to toe to the nines they can do that at the other award shows i would want them to feel like this is home and they can come how they want to i guess then that's just a personal thing like how do you want to come dress for me my best dress person was summer walker I thought that she looked great and it was skin showing it was like kind of see-through but it was like still very classy and nice and beautiful and her makeup and all of it like it she looked amazing honestly so I don't know it it was giving both and maybe we just need to learn to give both <laughs> I don't know let me know how you feel about the the dressing and the classy versus ratchet experience of the BET Awards. What, how do you feel about that? So I always have this co um, complaint every year. 
not a lot of awards are announced and this is called the BET Awards like it's about the awards it's definitely about the performances and all the other stuff but the fact that we had the writer strike going on like there I guess they filled the space with all the performances but I just feel like more awards need to be announced like there are so many things that did not get announced we need to not just do five awards for a whole four hour because it was like four hours of an award show. Only five awards are being announced. That doesn't make any sense. We're not just getting dressed up just for five awards to be announced. That doesn't make any sense. There needs to be a couple more awards announced. And then I also do feel like there needs to be a bigger African presence at, at the BET Awards. And so if we're celebrating and we're highlighting black entertainment, definitely we need to make a bigger space for African artists as well. Burna Boy won the International Award and congratulations to him. I think he definitely deserved it um, but he wasn't there to accept it. Master P was doing this and maybe I'm gonna just keep blaming on the writer's strike. <laughs> maybe because there wasn't, I mean obviously there is somebody, this is probably someone's assistant that wrote their speeches and then was like and then you can promote yourself everybody was promoting themselves right master p did the award for the international award and then burna boy wasn't there and so he calls michael blackson to come on stage and accept it just because he's african as well but he's not nigerian he's Ghanaian. like i I know it was a funny moment, like I laughed too when he was like, Burna Boy isn't here but Michael Blackson is, like, <laughs> it was funny, but then if you're really thinking about it, why? <laughs> yes, we are one Africa, we are one people, but it wasn't, like, if Michael Blackson was presenting the award, it would make sense. Go ahead, say whatever you want to say. And he, he came up on stage and he basically was like, one Africa, all that stuff. It was beautiful, right? But I just don't understand what the point was of bringing Michael Blackson up. And then the other thing was you invite him to come up and speak on behalf of Burna Boy. But then you interrupt it with again, your own kind of self-promotion. And I know it was about his child who passed away, but I'm just like, you could have mentioned that earlier. Cause then you gave him the platform to, sp to speak and then you interrupted him again with your own things, taken away from Africa having their moment. If you're giving Africa their moment. Like it was just weird. I didn't like it after it was all said and done. I did not like it and I think we need to do better with respecting African artists and incorporating African into African entertainment into all of black entertainment. Does that make sense? Let me know how you feel as well about that. And then child let's go into the performances so the performances were actually really good I think everybody um, pretty much did well DeVito performed and then Coco Jones performed best performance of the night to me when she won made me cry her performance was beautiful she is that girl who else Dochi performed Dochi did really well Glorilla I'm gonna just say Tiana Taylor <laughs> Tiana be helping people I think Glorilla needs a little Tiana in her life that's it Patti LaBelle did a tribute to Tina Turner couple things on that as well Patti forgot the words and I know people were shaming her for it and yes if you're gonna do a tribute to somebody you should know the words you definitely should be a little more versed on what you're doing it's Patti <laughs> that you know is Patty. so this is not the first time she, she's done that with her own things like some people forget their own lyrics Nikki is a big person that be forgetting her own lyrics like it happens so it's I'm not giving an excuse to it but I'm just saying like maybe memory's not her best suit 
and she definitely definitely needed her cue cards and somebody wasn't doing their job up there patty would have had the words if somebody was doing her job up there you know and i also think it should have been longer it shouldn't have been one song like hello it's tina turner and also then Migos came back together, Offset and Quavo, they performed a song to honor Takeoff and I thought that was beautiful. It also made me emotional. Um, and then they also had the 50th anniversary of hip hop. They had like small different performances of different, yeah, different parts of the country and like, you know, the West Coast they did and then they did Miami, they did New York, all of that stuff. I think <laughs> a couple things on that I think they did the best that they could with the artists that could have um, showed up and giving like an overall overall view of hip-hop over the 50 years I always have this complaint about the West Coast where you put us all together but you separated Miami and you separated New York you separated oh, Chicago like why did the west coast all have to be one like la music is totally different from bay music the bay should have had its own time and then la should have had its own time as well i think that we need to do, we need to do better it's all the spaces that i'm in the African space, the West Coast space. We are not giving us our right flowers and doing it in the right way. Like, come on now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but I think they did the best that they could. There weren't many people. I don't know if they contacted as many people as they could. And maybe they did. Maybe they tried their best. But And that's what happened. So I, I honestly think they did a good job. But that's just my little critique. Like, you got to separate the West Coast. We are one coast but the bay is totally different from la okay oh yeah and then buster rhymes there was a tribute to him he got the life achievement award um and i loved his speech it was a very long speech but i love when you hear history like that and his performance was really good overall i think that the bet awards the performances were the best part of it. I think that they 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 tried the best that they could with the writer strike. It's just we got to elevate the experience a little more. I would love to be on the BET Awards team. Like it is my favorite thing always as a child. Coming into the living room, having my popcorn, dancing, performing, like watching the whole red carpet and all of it but I feel like it's not an experience anymore we're just slapping together something if this is something that should be a prestigious award in our eyes and then it has to be a prestigious award in our eyes first and then it can be that in other people how are you gonna convince other people if it's not even in your eyes so we got to change that up we have to change the whole experience up and i've kind of talked about this in a previous video um i'm gonna link it as well in the the description and up here we need to elevate the award show experience especially the bt awards because it used to be that girl and it can still be that girl i have one more complaint when i am watching i was re-watching these performances online i wanted to show some of my friends and family the performances and i watched the whole bt award so i noticed that some performances were cut on youtube why are we cutting the performances and this is my complaint of the west coast you're doing the west coast right a tribute you cut it where it was about the bay you cut e40 out how'd you cut e40 out of the performance on youtube that's crazy to me they cut buster rhymes tribute as well they took spice out like i'm i'm just baffled why <laughs> why are we cutting the performances like you can put a long video on YouTube. I, I hope you know that. These are my thoughts of the BT Awards. What were your thoughts? What could have been better? What did you like? And uh, what are you hoping to see for next year? I just, I truly hope that the writer's strike is settled. I, I truly hope by then it's settled. And we can, now that Tyler Perry owns this, owns BT, 
I think that it can become that girl again. Like, it truly can. Add me to the team, please. I got some great ideas. All right, and Zachary Campbell. Me and Zachary Campbell together, we would do the damn thing, okay? <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, comment down below, share it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.